If you want the entire memo to this great tour of physical sciences paper, 1 November 2025, Christian paper, go to allpostpapers.com. We can watch the video, obviously, and see how you were supposed to answer the questions or how you're supposed to answer the questions depending on which year you're doing. But if you want the memo, just go to allpostpapers.com. The study materials as well as you are writing physical sciences, paper 2 on Monday, life sciences, geography in the following days and weeks. Let's answer the questions. At point two, switch S1 remains open while switch S2 is closed. The reading on ammeter A2 is 120 ampere, very high for current. Calculate the reading on the voltmeter. Okay, at point two, let's take a look at our sketch and see what is happening. So switch S1 remains open, so switch S1 is open there, and then switch S2 is closed. So what does that mean? It means that there's no current going in that direction. All the, the current will turn at that point, and then this is what we're actually gonna have if S1 is open, right? So we're looking for the reading on the voltmeter. The voltmeter is connected across the starter motor, which is the only external component we have, which is the only resistor that we have. So V is reading V external. So V will be close to I, multiplied by r the current is 120 the resistance is 0 0.1 so v is equals to 12 volts that is 8.2 8.3.1 switch s1 is now closed and switch s2 is open so let's adapt to the statement so s1 is open and s2 or s1 is closed and s2 is open so it means that the current flows in this direction okay there we go uh, but it's gonna divide it there because we have l1 and l2 the two headlights so a proportion of the current flows in that direction as well there we start having total current the cycle continues okay 8.3.1 calculate the current passing through l1 so we're given the power dissipated by each headlight so the power is 15 watt and then L1, we're given the resistance, which is 12 ohm. So we want the current. Obviously, P is equal to I squared multiplied by R. Very basic stuff. P is 15 current squared multiplied by R, which is 12. So the current is equal to. So the square root of 15 over 12, which is 1.012 ampere. So that is the reading or the current passing through L1. And then 8.3.2, write down the reading on ammeter A1. So which current is the ammeter A1 reading? The ammeter A1 is reading total current as the current does not divide before it passes through A1. And then the current is going to divide into two equal currents, so to say. Because the resistance on this path is 12 ohm, the resistance on that path is 12 ohm. Don't mistake don't misunderstand don't misinterpret me i'm saying the current will divide equally it does not always divide equally so in the future don't say that the current is going to divide equally because i said so it is going to divide equally in this case because the resistance on the two paths are equal to each other right so it divides proportionally to the resistances on the two sides here the resistances are equal so it, it is going to divide equally so but then if we had different resistances, more current would go to the path of least resistance and then less current will go to the path of more resistance, which makes sense. So 8.3.2, the reading on A1, which is the total current, will be 2.24 ampere, right? Just 1.12 multiplied by 2. So that is 8.3.2. 8.4, on the other hand, calculate the EMF of the battery. Okay. So, what do we do? Do we use when S1 is closed or do we use when S2 is closed? Not quite clear, not quite sure. But let's see. Let's start with S1 closed. So, when S1 is closed, we, we're not sure what the EMF is. Um, do we have the total current? Yes, we do. We do have the total current. The total current is 2.24. So we, we have IT, okay? 
internal resistance we don't have at external we do have so let's try and see emf is equals to it over r external plus r internal so the emf which is unknown will be it uh it is 2.24 right so 2.24 r external we need to calculate r external um which will be rp right as a consequence of those two analyze so rp there will be close to r1 multiplied by r2 divided by r1 plus r2 so that is oh is the plus on top or is it at the bottom i don't he usually he use this equation so i'm not quite sure so let me see if i say okay i know that the resistance is supposed to be six let me just stop playing around and use what i usually use so one over rp is equals to one over r1 plus one over r2 let's just stick to the basics what are we doing so one over rp is one over 12 plus one over 12 and then rp is equals to six there we go so we have six plus r two unknown variables one equation equation one obviously we need an equation two so that we can solve for the internal resistance and find the emf therefore so equation two we're going to use uh that instance where s1 is open and s2 is closed the emf in that instance will be close to the total current in that instance which was 120 right r external 0 0.1 plus r uh, so emf is the same it does not change so 2.24 multiplied by 6 plus r should be equals to 120 0 0.1 plus r uh, so we need to solve for 2.24 multiplied by 6 13.44 plus 2.24 r being equals to 12 plus 120 r uh, so 13.44 minus 12 that is 1.44 1.44 is equals to 120 minus 2.24 which is 117.76 r so 1.44 divided by 117.76 0 0.01 so the internal resistance is 0 0.0122 I'm not quite happy with that internal resistance to be honest usually our internal resistance is way lower than that oh it's way higher than that but what can we do is the physics is what we are finding okay so emf would therefore be equals to now it needs to substitute r in one of those equations so 1 to any multiply by 0 0.1 plus 0 0.012 1 to any 0 0.1 plus 0. 0 0.0122 0 0.0122 not 0 0.0122 and then i'm getting emf being equals to 13.46 volts that is emf right and then 8.5 both switches are now closed how will the reading on ammeter a1 be affected choose from increases decreases or remains the same explain the answer without the use of the calculation let me know in the comments what's your answer increases decreases or remains the same why are you saying so <laughs>